Hey everyone, so today I have a pretty special video for you because I'm finally opening up my Cloverleaf Townhome gift set for my Calico Critters. It's been forever since I bought this and I'm finally opening it up. So I'm very, very excited. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. You can turn lights on and off. There's a bunch of different rooms. You can move the staircase. You can move the floor piece to be grass outside. On the back, it shows you a little bit more, like a different configuration. It shows I can use a room divider, design lots of different room settings, turn lights on and off, create a second floor balcony. Um, yeah, there's the reversible grass piece. It says four large rooms with a room divider that creates a fifth room, movable staircase to put inside or outside, over 50 furniture and accessories included, two lights you can turn on and off, reversible floor used to expand the first floor or flip over to use as green grass, Second floor balcony, open areas are easy and fun to decorate. Sturdy hinge so you can enjoy the home both open and closed. And then on the side, um, wait, not that side. <laughs> on the other side, this is gonna be a little bit hard to show because it's so close, but it's just basically showing how you can combine some other sets to this one to create kind of like a mega house. So yeah, okay. Well, I guess let's get opening. light bulbs, a little pamphlet, probably showing different critters and sets you can get. Yep. All right. I think I need to dump this. Oh, let's take out the little bunny family. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So much stuff. Okay, so now we have all these boxes with accessories in them. It's almost like a blind box opening. So let's see what's in all these. Oh, here we have table and chairs. So cute. Next, another chair, some little piece there. Oh, a little cabinet. Well, a desk, I should say, <laughs> has drawers in it. Okay, and this piece looks like a couple little crayons and a little container for the crayons. I'm just gonna put the crayons in the desk for now so they don't get lost. Next, this one's pretty big. Oh, it's a bed. Cute. And then here's a little blanket. Next, 
next one. Oh, there's a bunch of silverware here. It looks like a bunch of little kitchen accessories. A toaster, a little bread holder. Oh, okay, oh wow. <laughs> there's a lot here. Pots and pans. So cute, oh my gosh, there's so much. And then, there's a little towel, a little cart, like a little push cart. And there's this little one, let's see. Oh, this looks like an oven, oh, and a frying pan. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> I'll open the little accessories after. And then here's the final box. Oh, a little footstool. Ah! And, oh, a piano. How fancy lifts up like this sylvanian families oh that's cute that's interesting because like here they're called calico critters so it's cute that it actually says sylvanian on it <laughs> there we go Aha. now let's join the two sides together does this open up Oh, this is the room divider. Okay, yes, we definitely want that open. These are the flaps from the boxes and it just gives you some instructions on how to do a few things. Oh yeah, it says the batteries are not included so I'll have to insert those. Um, have to put a few different pieces together. Another thing you have to do is download the wallpapers online. I think back in the day it used to come with the wallpapers, at least that's what I've heard, but now you have to print them off yourself and then stick them in. Okay, so I printed off the wallpaper and I cut out all the pieces. You can see there are a lot of pieces here. And now I'm gonna take some double-sided tape and stick the wallpaper on the walls. And what's cool is you can actually use any pattern you want for these walls. You just have to trace these templates and then you can have any pattern you want, whether that's some scrapbook paper you own or you just print off a design. You can have any wallpaper you want. So I'm just using the one that's available on the website though. So that's what the house looks like with all the wallpaper. Then I just added on the fence on the upper balcony. And now I'll give you a look at all the little accessories that it comes with.
So now I'm going to take all the furniture and accessories and put them inside the house. All right, so here's the overview of the house. Of course, we have the front door here, which opens into the kitchen. There's not really much for kitchen furniture in there. There's the stove, and I actually put the crock pot on the stove because there's no counter to put it on, but someday I might have some furniture for this. And then we have the kitchen table, which is very well stocked. We've got four chairs. Then there are a couple of placemats with toast and cups and there's some jam, some orange marmalade, some juice, cups, all kinds of stuff there. And then I decided to put the staircase right in the middle. I don't really know if I like it there or not. It's kind of hard because wherever it goes, it blocks the rest of the house. So you can clip it here, but then it blocks this side. And then if you clip it over there, it's blocking that side. So I feel like this is a good way that you can see all the rooms in the house without the staircase blocking off a whole room entirely. So. That's how I decided to do it. Also, this piece, which is grass on the other side, I decided to keep it inside the house to expand the inside instead of adding grass outside. And someday I might actually get that kind of fake grass that you can buy in sheets and just have that outside the house. That might be pretty cute. And yeah, we have this little carriage that I opened up in a previous video and it came with this. And we have one little bunny up here. <laughs> the mama bunny is over here. And then this is the bed with a blanket on it. That's all that's in that room. I decided to put the desk in the little kid's room and then this room is empty. So I might use that as my bathroom set, but I don't think all my pieces are gonna fit in there. I was just looking at this set and there are a lot of pieces. This is what it looks like and I feel like just the bathtub alone would take up that entire room. So I'm not exactly sure how I'll want to set this up because this is just a divider. I could, um, you know, this could all be one big room, but I don't know, we'll see. I'll play around with it once I open up that other set. I also have the lights turned on. So there's the living room light, then there is that light. Then there's a set of double doors the characters can walk out of, out onto the balcony. The balcony is so cute. <laughs> oh, I love it, the railing is just so adorable. So yeah, that is all I have so far in my calico critter house and hopefully I can add more stuff. I might have to end up getting one of the bigger houses one of these days and kind of split the furniture between both. We'll see. This one's a bit smaller than I anticipated now that I've kind of opened it up. So maybe I could have like small house here, big house here, who knows? <laughs> but that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be doing a lot more calico critter videos now that I have the house set up so that I can put characters and furniture inside of it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.